And now it's time for Hobo Reviews with Willy be a Hobo. Tonight's review, A Christmas Story. Oh my god, this is the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. With spoilers, there's this kid who wants to get a B-Rider shooter, McGun. I don't know why the hell you want again. It's very, very violent for you. So in any case, Ruffy wants to get a gun. And the little brother, Randy, wants to get a bunch of other toys because, well, he's a little kid. So then Ruff goes through this process where he wants to get a BB Rider gun. He puts the head in a magazine. He even talks about it. He does a report on it. Yes, he actually writes an essay of what I want for Christmas. And go figure, he wants to get the gun. He doesn't want anything else in the world. He just wants that stinking gun. Meanwhile, his daddy always has battles with the furnace and the puppets' dogs. Son of a bitch, he's puppets! Seriously, I don't know what anger he has, but this man is raging with anger. His mother has never had a hot meal in 15 years. No, seriously, the narrator of this movie, Mama, says that specifically. So anyways, there's also this bully, Scott Fargus, with green teeth and yellow eyes, who makes fun of the little kids. Hell, he even wears a weird looking hat. My hat seems better than that. I'm just saying. So he picks on the kids to make them say, Uncle, Uncle! Now say, Caroline, don't go into the light! Caroline, don't go into the light! Well, you get the idea. So then, Ralphie decides to stand up to the bully and say, ah! And boom, boom, boom. He actually beats the crap out of this guy so badly that his nose bleeds. Man, Red Foreman would be so proud. Except he didn't kick him in the ass. He just punched him in the face. Yeah. Oh, and there's also a scene where the tire goes down. And the dad is also upset with getting it done quickly because he wants to be a NASCAR pit crew chief. One, two, three. God damn it, taking too damn long. And so that's when Ralphie says, Oh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge, I said the word. The mother of all swear words. The F dash 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 word. What did you say? <gasps> That's what I thought you said. Do you know what your son just said? What? Randy? <laughs> Ruffy! Until he gets the bar of soap in his mouth. All of this fun stuff is going on. Oh, and by the way, he's upset with a... TV show, a radio show, where he decodes a message to get some prize or something. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. A crummy commercial? Son of a bitch. I would be too. That's a waste of fucking time. So then Christmas Day comes. Well, almost. It's Christmas Eve and Santa Claus is at the mall. I like the Tin Man. I like the Wizard of Oz. And they have to go on a long line that stretches all the way to Terre Haute. And Ralphie's at the end of it. Finally, he gets to Santa Claus because, oh crap, 9 o'clock, the store's gonna close. Gets to Santa Claus and freezes when he wants to tell him what he wants for Christmas. Seriously, you've been blabbering about it this whole goddamn movie and now you decide not to blabber it? So the Santa Claus impersonator suggests, how about a nice uh, football? Football? What's a football? Seriously, you don't know what a football is? A football is a r oval leather pigskin that you throw around with to win the Super Bowl. So then as he's about to go down the slide and screams with like every other kid that goes down the slide, he stops, climbs back up to the top and says, No, I want it if it's a red rider baby gun with a parents gun or whatever the hell the thing is. And what does Santa Claus say? You'll suit your eye out, kid. Then kicks him down the slide with his big boot. As Ruffy goes, no! Well, at least he didn't scream in fear of the slide, unlike all the other kiddies. Of course, the other kiddies were probably younger. Then Christmas Day comes, and what does Ralphie get? His freaking BB gun. Finally. 
And what is the first thing he does with this BB gun? Bang! Deflection! Boom! Oh my god, I shot my eye out! Well, not really. It only deflected off the glasses, which came off. And as he's searching for the glasses, crack! He steps on the glasses! And makes a wonderful excuse of, a uh, wonderful lie about how the glasses broke. And as that's going on, the puppets' dogs get sprung free because some idiot forgot to close the damn door, let them loose, and eat all the turkey. No more turkey. No more turkey soup, turkey sandwich, or gallons of turkey bread, as well as turkey a la king. Gone. All gone. And so the mother cries and wipes her tears with the same rag that she used on Ralphie when he was crying after the baby gun accident. And what does the dad say? Everybody upstairs, get dressed. We are going out to eat. So they get a turkey there. Except there's one problem with this turkey, which is also a Chinese duck because I went to a Chinese restaurant. It's smiling. Oh, chop. And the movie ends with Ralphie sleeping with his BB gun. Gee, I hope he doesn't shoot anybody's eyes out while he's uh, sleeping away on drapes. I, for one, love this timeless Christmas classic. And you should, too, because this is one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time. This is really real, saying. Charge! You got charge! Oh, come on, help a girl, will you? Come on, Charge! Come on! I'll pretend to be Santa Claus so that you can get whatever the hell you want! It could be anything! Except a BB gun! <laughs>